good onions to start the morning. That's what I like. Good morning, Grinch. Hey, how's it going? Good. Am I the first person? Or? Yeah. Oh, okay. Can I take it for you? Yeah. Uh, no, I, I have to have a photo pass. Sure. And I'll just have you stay right here. Okay. <laughs> And how's your warning going so far? Uh, I mean, no one to meet the Grinch. I, I really can't complain. I've never, I know, I've right? never seen no what line. I, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think I've ever seen in my yeah. entire life. This is yeah. it's amazing how this beautiful weather just scares <laughs> people away. Right, this is your favorite time of the year, right? Like oh, this? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I'm built for this kind of weather. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, great. Well, are you guys still gonna do the tree line tonight? Hopefully. You know, I don't know. That remains to be seen. We'll have to see how <laughs> the weather. weather goes. That uh, stage up there that the mayor had built yeah. really was not planned out well. It's uh, very, very slippery. Yeah. All the hoos are worried about falling. <laughs> I'm sure if you built it, it would be ready to go anytime. Oh, absolutely. You know, like, for me, I'd have a lot more spikes and uh, you know, gel scraps on the stage. Yeah. That kind of thing. A place so, for Max. Make it, what's that? A place for Max, of course. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know. Uh, he's, uh, ever since the documentary came out, all this stuff has gone to his head. And uh, I'm a little worried. Uh, I, I don't know if you have the budget for him. He's okay. so, like, he's, like, wanting, like, big money now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Awesome. Not too much doing it for the love of the game anymore. <laughs> awesome. All right, yeah, I want to get a good photo though with you. Yeah, let's yeah. do it. Yeah. You can set that up right there if you want to stand right in front of the steps. That'd be great. Okay. Nice. Thank, Thank you. 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 Wow, I don't, think I've ever, I don't think I've ever seen no one in the line for the Grinch. Is that insane? There is no one in line for the Grinch. What is this? Oh my gosh. Come gather around with some wine to delight. Next to our tree that shines so bright in the night. A Grinchmas treat is in store for you with your story time host, Miss Cindy Lou Who. Did it? No, it didn't. The Grinch was 
said, If I can't find a reindeer, I'll make one instead. Then he called his dog Max, Max, and he took some red thread and he tied a big horn on the top of his head. Then he loaded some bags and some empty sacks on a red shepherd's sleigh, and he hitched up old Max. Then the girl said, Giddy up! And the sleigh started down towards the homes where all the crews lay snooze in their town. When he slid down the chimney, oh, a red and tight bitch. <laughs> but if Santa could do it, then so could the Grinch. And he slithered and sung with a smile most unpleasant. Around the whole room, he took every present. Popguns and bicycles, roller skates and drums, checkerboards, tricycles, poppers and plums. He cleaned out the icebox as quick as a flash. Why, the Grinch even took their last can of who hash. And now, Grinch to Grinch, I will stuff up the tree. Oh, well, I'm not sure how big the tree was really, really big. Then he did the same thing to the other whose houses, leaving crumbs much too small for the other whose mouses. It was a quarter past dawn, all the who's to a bed. All the who's to his news when he packed up his sled. 3,000 feet up to the side of my carpet, he rode his log to the tip top to dump it. Boo boo to all the who's who's Grinches and humming. They're finding out now that no Christmas is coming. They're just waking up, I know just what they'll do. Their mouth will have open a minute or two. Then all the who's down in Hugo will all cry boo hoo. Oh, Mr. Grinch, that wasn't really nice. That's noise, Grinch the Grinch, that I simply lost here. So he paused. He put his hand up to his ear. Do you hear that sound? And he did hear a sound rising over the snow. It started in low and then it started to grow. Why this sound sounded glad. Every hoot only grew well, the tall and the small was singing without any prisons at all. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came. Somehow or other it came just the same. And the Grinch with his Grinch feet ice cold and the snow stood puzzling. How could it be so? It came without ribbons. It came without tags. It came without packages, boxes, or bags. And the Grinch stood puzzling and puzzling till his paws were sore. And the Grinch thought of something he hadn't before. Maybe Christmas, he thought. Does it come from a store? Maybe Christmas. Perhaps means a little bit more. And what happened then? Well, here in Hula, we say that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. Hooray! <laughs> then the true meaning of Christmas came through, and the Grinch found the strength of ten Grinches plus two. With a smile on his soul, he descended Mount Kirkwood, cheerily blowing oh, oh, on his trumpet. He rode into the window and brought back their toys. He brought back the food to the Who girls and boys. He brought everything back on the food for the feast. And he, he himself, the Grinch, carved the rose feast. Welcome Christmas, bring your cheer to all the who's far and near. Christmas Day is in our grasp, so as long as we have hands to cross. Christmas Day will always be as long as we have we. Welcome Christmas while we stand heart to heart and hand in hand. How the Grinch stole Christmas by Dr. Seuss. The end. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> Happy Revelation to you all. Now, I would love to meet all of you. So if you would like to meet me too, meet me right there at the schoolhouse for a picture or two. <laughs> oh, so you can meet Cindy Lou at the schoolhouse, which is right over there. But she's bringing her umbrella just in case. Super cute.